Out of a story we've been covering this morning, Monroe County will have a new sheriff for the first time in 16 years. Democrat Tom Baxter will take over the sheriff's office in 2018. We spoke with him overnight. Chris Ravanis joins us live at the Monroe County Jail in downtown Rochester with details on what Baxter plans to do differently. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Nikki. You know, throughout the campaign, Baxter indicated that he might do things a little differently, indicated uh, he thought the sheriff's office might need a different direction. It appears that really resonated with voters. The Democrat did defeat Republican incumbent Sheriff Patrick O'Flynn yesterday by almost about 15 percentage points, 57 percent to 43 percent. When all is said and done, it's a difference of about 22,000 votes countywide. Baxter is the former Greece police chief. He's also been an officer in Rochester and Ogden. The sheriff elect ran saying he would take politics out of the sheriff's office. And even though he's a Democrat, he said he won't care about the party affiliation of his deputies. He wants to decentralize leadership in the sheriff's office, basically means he wants to let them lead their road patrols. This is going to have a big effect on those of you living in a town or city that already has a police department, like Rochester, for example, patrolling the streets. When Baxter takes office, he says he wants to get into those communities as well. The key point, I think, is that we need to see Monroe County Sheriff's Department everywhere that needs to be seen, when they need to be seen. We can't limit. Listen, we're the only ones that put boundaries around ourselves. Law enforcement. Criminals don't care. They go wherever they want to come commit a crime. And attention also turning to the jail behind me. Deputies here have not had a contract with the county in about five years or so. And when I spoke to Baxter yesterday morning, he said he really wants to take care of his deputies. So we'll be checking in over the coming weeks, months, to see if this election has any effect on negotiations. Live downtown at the county jail, Chris Arvada, it's News 10 NBC Today. Chris.